What's your name? <laughs> What's your government name? Uh, Clint Johnson. And I was going to switch it to that because, like, Clint Johnson just sounded like a country artist. Yeah. You know? Or Clint Black. Yeah. Clint Black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the real Clint Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Black Clint. <laughs> <I'm> the Black <laughs> 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 Welcome back, y'all, to episode 39 of the DM Monday podcast. I'm Trey Lewis. This is my podcast with my co-host, Mitch Wallace and Trey Bonner. What's up? And today's guest is uh, a really cool guy. Um, we've done a song together. We did the Dick Down in Dallas remix together. And uh, it's Rashad. What's up, brother? Yo, what's up, y'all? It's pretty crazy uh, how the Dick Down in Dallas remix. You know, I figured, do you ever get tired of talking about Dick Down in Dallas? Nah, not really. You don't? No. Yeah. I was just wondering. Sometimes uh, people will come up to me and be like, Dick Down in Dallas. <laughs> like, do you get it a lot? Do people talk about the remix a lot with you? Uh, Yeah, they do. Like, like every live you go on, somebody says something about it? Um, Yeah, it's like when I'm, like, let's say I'm doing a show. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, oh, so this next one. And if it's like an empty space, somebody will say, Dick Down in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we get into it. We get into it. We get there. We get there. <laughs> So it's in your sets at your shows? Yeah. Well, yeah. What I usually say is you have to listen to all my songs, because I play single again, like second. I usually say you have to listen to all my songs that you don't know before we get there, but I promise we're getting there. Yeah. But you've actually done a lot of other cool um, either remixes or other songs with people. Like you did the song with Atlas. That was awesome. Yeah. We yeah, had was- him on the we had him on the uh, podcast. He's a funny guy. Yeah. Atlas cool. Yeah. How, how did that come about, that collab? Well, he, that was. he did the um he was doing an open verse challenge for it on tiktok yeah and i saw it and i was like eh, i guess i'll do it i'll go ahead and do it and then i did it and it ended up going viral yeah just like the dick, Den, dick yeah. down in dallas one yeah did. and then he hit me up and asked me did i want to get on the remix i was like yeah i'm down that's awesome so you met matt wallace and the whole camp everybody over there uh yeah like yeah. after uh after we did the remix me atlas and matt did yeah. se- and bayless we bayless, all did a session yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Bayless is awesome. Did y'all yeah. do it over at Matt's house? Uh, I think it was at Bayless's house. Yeah. And then uh, the first thing that you ever did before um, before the remix or that was the was the balling. That was pretty cool. That was like your first viral thing, right? Yeah. I had just got into TikTok and it was like, uh, I don't know. I was just trying to find something like something cool to do. Yeah. It was like I had been doing like covers and stuff and I was mm-hmm. like, I ain't never really did a, like a country cover of a rap song. Mm-hmm. And so I did that one. I recorded, I remember that day, I recorded that one and I recorded a cover to God Bless the Broken Road. Yeah. And I went ahead and shot both videos for him. And I went to post a uh, Rascal Flats one and copyright got me. Oh no. And I was like, oh, well, I'm glad I had this other one done. And then yeah. I posted that one and then it just took off. Were you just singing God Bless the Broken Road or did you like do a rap verse thing? Oh no, I was singing it. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Even though it is a rap verse on it, that uh, the one rumor did, mm-hmm. that one was hard. Yeah, like he sampled it and turned it into like this beautiful trap song. I'm talking about like the Rascal Flat song. Yeah, that's awesome. I've never heard that. It's cool. That is cool. Um, so tell me where you're from. Are you from close to where Terminal South is? Yeah, I'm from Willacoochee, Georgia. That's about Willa 45 Coochie, minutes. Willacoochee, Georgia. <laughs> Willa what? Willacoochee. <laughs> Willacoochee. <laughs> Not Chattahoochee. <laughs> Willacoochee. Willacoochee. <laughs> Willacoochee. That's it. Goodness, How gracious. small is that town? Because I've never even heard of it. It's about, I think I looked up the population for the first time a couple of years ago. It's like 1,200 people. Oh, wow. It's like as soon as you come in, you're going out. Yeah. You got so one. you know everybody at your high school. Yeah. Were you making music in high school? Yeah, I was. What? So what age did you start music? Um, I guess I started music around, I started at like 13. Yeah. But I ain't have like a microphone in there. Yeah. I had a little MP3 player. 
And so what I would do is I would burn like rap instrumentals onto a CD and put the CD in the DVD player and then take my MP3 player headphones and put one in front of the TV and, <laughs> rap, <laughs> and rap into the other one. That's awesome. Were you just making up like raps and stuff? So yeah. Just- like freestyles off the top of your head or were you writing it? I was freestyling a lot of it and then I started writing it. Did you have an influence that like started you in music? If you if you had to give credit to one artist, Lil Bow Wow, really? Yeah, dude, that's Lil awesome. Bow Wow. Damn, that's awesome. I saw like, uh, like Mike's the movie. That was what made yeah. me do it, like Mike. Dude, that's the yeah. one because I had it on VHS, and um, that was the one about the shoes, and he was an orphan, right? Mm. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael yeah. Jordan shoes. Yeah, I went and got those shoes after that. Man. <laughs> and it's like at the beginning, but it's like at the beginning of the VHS tape, they play uh, the music video for the song Basketball. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I He's can do that. He's playing back. Yep. Skid. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That movie was good. That's my favorite movie ever. Damn. I forgot all about that. Two for one day at the work. <laughs> so, so when did like country music start coming in? Was that right when you were 13 also? Or were you pretty much focused in like the rap genre around then? Um, I didn't like country music around that time. Like my dad would play it, but I didn't like to yeah. hear it. Because like, I felt like he was forcing it on me. Yeah. And then I heard uh, that Sweet Thing song by Keith Urban. Oh, yeah. And I liked that one, but it's like I wasn't really into it. Yeah. Until I don't even remember what age I was, but my mom, she worked in the lunchroom. Mm -hmm. And so we would go with her in the mornings and send the lunchroom until school started. And they had a TV in the lunchroom, so we had access to the TV. And I would flip between uh, 27. Channel 27 was MTV and 29 was VH1. 28 was CMT and I never hit that channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you just go I right feel like, I feel like for me, like country music was always there. But when I'm, when I was like a teenager, I like didn't listen to country music anymore. I was all up because like my parents listen to country music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like and I like wanted to rebel and find my own thing. So I was listening to like No Doubt and like, you know, yep. Nelly and like, you know, just what would be, you know, yeah. when I turned, turn was like, I remember I was like listening to like some rap music one day and my dad was like, turn that shit off. I can't even hear myself think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the same yeah. thing, dude. And Joel, Joel, my stepdad. Can't just, hear myself think. He used, to say, he used to say, that shit just makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I turned 15 and put a, a, a system in my car. So I had like subs. And from then on, it was like, yeah, no country music's getting played in this thing, dude. Yeah. Like, I want to feel that shit. But I your parents listen rap. to country music too. Yeah, I remember uh, when you were just talking about the rap songs. It was this one song by Plies. Yeah, that uh, listen Plies yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I listen to Plies on the way here. You know that song one more time. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, my mama heard my heard me playing that one, and she made me turn it off. You got to play running my mama crazy then. <laughs> yeah. And my dad would be like, "Oh, you need to stop listening to that music. So nasty. <laughs> you got to put a condom on to listen to it." <laughs> 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 that's great. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. That's um great. so country music and like I guess that was like high school you started started fucking with it again? Yeah, I finally hit I finally stopped on channel twenty eight. Yeah. I think around that time it was like uh Cruz, like FGL, yeah. Jason Aldean. Did you already Ryan. know you could sing before that? <laughs> like when you were doing raps, did you realize you could sing? Or was it not yet? I knew I could sing, but I didn't want to sing because back then singing was lame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I remember uh like now, Chris Brown is cool. Yeah. But growing up, Chris Brown was lame. Yeah. And yeah. mostly it's because girls liked him. Yeah. And so because of that, event. I didn't want to sing. Yeah. I feel that. Did you ever do like uh, sing in church or choir or like was there ever any like guidance for you like professionally or like a, you know, maybe someone that knew what they were doing? Yeah. Giving you, you can any like guidance? really sing. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess my mom, she sung in the church. But the thing about her, she was super shy too. Mm. So they almost had to make her sing in church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they would, well, the crazy thing is, is like they would make her sing and she wouldn't want to. So she started making me sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I started singing in church and I guess that's where I learned how to do it. Yeah. And it was like when I heard uh, Trey songs. Yeah. That's when I was like, okay, I, what he's doing is cool. This is yeah. what I want to do. So I started singing. That's, that's weird. Awesome. Let's see. When was the first time you got to record on a mic that wasn't your headphone <laughs> to the speaker? Yeah. Um, I can't remember the age, but I had a. Uh, I was working with my daddy, like washing cars, hauling scrap, working in the fields, and I saved up enough money for one of them blue snowball mics. Yeah, yeah, that looked yeah. like the damn from uh, Best Buy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it looked like a softball. Yeah, and so I got one of them, and that was the first mic I recorded on. 
And then you just went crazy. Wore yeah. that thing out. I tried to. I got a laptop and uh what doll were you using? Uh mix mix pad. It was like a super cheap one and I had it for free. And I knew how to uh it was like a free trial, but I knew how to go in and reset the free trial. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you just have a million emails? My boy's just out yeah. here grinding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I had my laptop and uh that's what I was recording on. And it's like I would record in spurts because <laughs> I would have something to record on. Yeah. And then, like, we would miss a payment and they would come take it. Oh, Man, wow. One time, what was it? Uh, we had just came back from church and we got back home. And we had this, like, side of the house that we had uh, boarded up. And yeah. there was some tire tracks in the yard. And my dad was like, somebody had been to the house. And so we go in the house and, like, one of the windows is knocked out. And he's like, somebody done broke in. Yeah. But the only thing they took was the laptop and the charger. Dang. And, uh, I don't know. He was talking about filing a police report. And so I was really trying to find out who stole my laptop. And he just stopped talking about it. And then I didn't put together that around that time, because we owed like some payments on the laptop. Yeah. Around that time, they stopped calling. Yeah. Well, I was like, where oh. the hell did y'all buy this iPad in? <laughs> I mean, this, this computer from where they would break into your house and take it That's the repo, man. Yeah. yeah that's that's crazy. What? I mean, like, tell me more about Willa Coochie. Did y'all have a McDonald's? Mm -mm. Did we you have a Walmart? Mm, we had Sambo's. What was your first job? My first job washing cars with my daddy. Did you just say you had a what? A Sambo? A Sambo's. What is that? It's uh, It was a burger joint. Oh. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. It was real good. Like Pals in Bristol? Yeah, God, I'm <laughs> never going there again. <laughs> Trash. I mean, I shit five times after eating that place. That's yeah. how Steve Wings at Sambo's used to be. <laughs> they just make you shit yeah, right You got to clear your schedule before you eat them things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so your first job was washing cars with your dad? Yeah. Did he have a car washing company, I assume? Yeah. He just kind of did side jobs? You said you hold scrap, too. Yeah, that was anything he could do to make some money. He did it. Like, say one thing, that man wasn't lazy. And I think that's why I went so hard with the music because I was like, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. Yeah. You know? Is he still washing cars and stuff? No, nah, now he's uh, like a groundskeeper at the hospital. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. So he finally found a, like a steady job. Do you think that, you know, I don't know, I guess watching your dad hustle like that is also like ingrained in you kind of the hustle of what we have to do in this music business yeah. as well? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. That's not. I think that's one of the reasons why I pretty much learned how to do everything by myself. Yeah, man. I mean, I think that's awesome. I, all this shit that you see in here, I don't know how to run any of this. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, if you left me or you to figure it out, you'd probably be the first to figure it out of, out of me and you. You know what I mean? <laughs> it might not be right. But. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, that's cool. I mean, all your – so all your TikTok vis videos and all that stuff you did, like, you did all that yourself, huh? Well, I had Angel shooting them for me. Yeah. She was the one who told me about TikTok. Yeah. I didn't want to get on it because the first ad I saw was like, it was still in that like musically era. Yeah. Oh, man, mm -hmm. I'm not getting on that. Yeah. Then I finally got on it. dancing back then. Yeah. And I can't dance. Yeah. Um, not at all. Can you dance at all, Angel? Can you dance? No. <laughs> Perfect. Neither the can way I, right. I, can I, dance. I can't dance, but <laughs> I, can twerk. I can twerk. That's all I can do. The way I dance, it's like. Remember when the crank that soldier boy came out? Yeah. Hey. I didn't learn that dance till like two years after it was lame. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> man. Um, so when you, when TikTok. And, and, and when you can't dance, like you, like, you, I don't know if you're like me, but I'd be like practicing in front of the mirror. And if somebody like had a camera in my room, I would feel like an idiot. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. Kill me before you release really Is that where you learn how to twerk? <laughs> What's that? Is that where you learn how to twerk? You just like, yeah, left no, cheek, right think, cheek, left cheek, right cheek. I think cheek. I just did that one day. <laughs> just one day went for yeah, it. Yeah, just one day went for He's it. He's still not that good at it. If I you don't watch know, him. dude. My, neither of my cheeks move at all. Yeah, neither do Trace. <laughs> I just don't have, I have no <laughs> ass at all. So, <laughs> but I know how to move my hips. Oh, okay. That's true. I don't have that. So. I, don't, I have toe ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Just Google toe ass over there. Yeah. Um. So whenever musically TikTok came around. Were you already on socials or were you pretty much a non-social media person? I was on them, but it was around that time where, I don't know, it's like with Facebook. It's really were you hard. posting music on Facebook? Yeah, but it's like real hard to pop up on Facebook. It wasn't working? YouTube don't work unless you're already established. People yeah. aren't looking at Instagram unless you're cool because they didn't have reels back then. Yeah. yeah. And so like TikTok was my last try. Yeah. To, like try to make it pop. So what? how did that conversation go when Angel was like, Yo, there's TikTok. I want you to get on it, or I think you should get on it, or was it just like you are getting on it? She told me I should try it, and I was like, I don't want to do that. 
it looks like it looks lame. I'm not doing that. And so I finally broke down and I did it. I started messing around with it. One of my biggest fears was like, uh, I thought I was like, if I do that, people are going to pick on me. Yeah. And she was like, no, they're not going to pick on you. They'll get kicked off the app if they do that. And yeah. I'm like, okay. And it's like, now, <laughs> now I go through my comments and they're still picking yeah. on me. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't country music. I'm saying. They're definitely going to pick on you. Is that a fucking do-rag on your head? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's funny. What are the, so what are some of the comments like? I mean, we all get the comments, you know, I I think all artists do. We Um, we all receive the hate. But like, what what are maybe some of them that like actually hurt your feelings? Where you're like, damn, I'm I'm not posting for a week. (laughs) Um... That don't really hurt my feelings. At first, though, the first time you ever read like a negative comment, yeah, because it it's shook like, me to my core. Because it's like <laughs> you come from a small town where yeah. anything you do, everybody loves it. It's awesome. And yeah. then you get out in the real world, it's like, damn, am I good well, or were they lying? Yeah. In a small town too, if you talk shit, you get hit. Yeah. So like, that too. people don't just walk around like <laughs> talking shit. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna pull up at you at the Sambo or whatever. That you said. <laughs> <laughs> like if I see you at Sambo tomorrow, I'm gonna hit you. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> hit you and shit. True. Yeah, you were talking shit on Facebook yeah. last night, man. <laughs> so now you're going to the whole world where like people don't have any consequences. Yeah. I know like, you know, uh Justin Holt's my roommate, and one of the first comments that really like fucked him up was uh he wrote a song, he sang it, and someone commented and said, Great song would sound a lot better if Luke Combs sang it. And he was like, well, no fucking shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> any of my songs would sound better if Luke Combs sang it. What? But like that was one that stuck with him. That was two years ago, and I still bring it up daily. The one comment I, I remember worry. of Trey's is when the guy told him he should work at Office Max. I was like, damn. Not even <laughs> Staples? I'm like, God, yeah. damn. Dang, yeah. I remember the first time I ever you know, was reading like hateful comments and stuff. It used to like really – you know, like bother me or shake me to my core, but now I'm just like whatever. I don't even, I don't even like really read it. I'm not even like Mitch. Hey, this is funny. I'm just like I just keep moving. You yeah, know what losers. I mean? Did you say you remember one? I think the first time I got like really bad comments was I, apparently you can't cover George Strait. Yeah, yeah. Apparently I, that is I, like you did carry him carrying your love with me, didn't you? No, I did. Uh, Amarillo by morning. Oh yeah. And it was like, no, you don't cover the king. Damn what? Yeah, they did that the first time. With uh, the first time it happened was what was uh, with Keith Whitley. Uh, Don't close your eyes. Yeah, and I just think it was because around that time they were still associating me with like the country versions. Yeah, and so they thought I was playing around. So yeah. when I do something serious, it's like no, no, you leave that alone. Yeah, I'd love to see you do uh, time marches on. I think that would be a cool one to do. Yeah, that'd be cool. But like, also too, while we're on the subject of that, like, you've done like the remixes and the and the covers and things like that. But you're just you you want to do your own music, right? Or do you still love doing the the remixes and stuff for fun? I do them every now and then. Yeah, yeah. But it's like I find more fun making my own music. Yeah, because like I'm saying what I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So you you're getting into TikTok, and how are you figuring it out? Like, do you? Do you like start talking to someone that's already established on TikTok and make friends with them? Or is it just kind of you and Angel figuring it out as you go? Like, how are you getting your like information and figuring out the algorithm? And like, it's just me and Angel just going at it. And at that, because at that time, I didn't know anything about the algorithm. I was like, oh, just yeah. keep posting and eventually something will take off. Did Dude. it take off quick? Uh, yeah, it was like, um, it was like a gap because at one time I was getting like 400 views, then it jumped to like 3,000, then it jumped to like, Four hundred thousand, and that was with bowling. Yeah. yeah, and so at that point, it's like I don't know. I see a lot of people go viral, and it's like the moment just come and go. Mm-hmm. So I just start hammering it in on TikTok. Yeah. So I never lost that momentum. Yeah, I remember I used to post like six times a day. Yeah, we went know? hard. <laughs> yeah, like TikTok. It's not the wild wild west anymore, but it nah. used to be. You know what I mean? You could do anything yeah. on there. Yeah, like in today's world, Dick Down Dallas wouldn't go viral on TikTok. Oh, we'd like, probably get banned. We get banned. You know, we get kicked out. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't allow it, dude. I've like, seen people be on lives and just play Dick Down in Dallas and they get their account shut down. You yeah, know what dang. I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it's brutal. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, Jeez. Well, oh. I have more. I have a cheat sheet here that I'm ready to get into. Yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> so we got a cheat sheet from old Jamie over there. <laughs> have you seen the cheat sheet? Uh, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> the first one that I want to address is you take shits before, right? <laughs> <laughs> What is that all about? <laughs> so <laughs> I got anxiety. Yeah. And so it just 
hit at <laughs> random moments. And so, like, if I'm going to a right, <laughs> and it's usually with people, like, I don't know. And sometimes yeah. it's with people I do know. It's just yeah. me going to a right. For some reason, I get anxious about it. It's like, am I going to be able to show up today? Am I going to be able to get a song? Am yeah. I, are these people going to think I'm just a flash in the pan? Yeah. Of, like, things. Hey, I'm right there with you, dude. I do, I do it before shows. <laughs> yeah, how many times did time. you shit before that exit in show? Um, I actually don't do it before okay. shows because I okay. can't eat a lot. Yeah, because I'm anxious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so before the rights, you just make sure to shit before you leave the house. I try to. I did it in a couple of uh, publishing houses. Yeah. So you know the bathrooms. <laughs> in the, which publishing house has the best bathroom? You think? Um, <laughs> let me see which one. Sony or Warner? Oh, Warner has that did new I building though, don't they? So does Sony. Oh yeah, true. I don't think I went to the one at yeah. Sony. Okay, I didn't go to Sony's. Now, um. Black River's got a nice bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Black River. Yeah. Black River bathroom, baby. Bonner's a bathroom connoisseur himself. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Men's rooms, women's room. If I gotta go, I gotta go. I feel you. <laughs> Me and Angel had went to this uh There's some comfortable restaurant. toilet seats out there. There really is. Yeah. Me and Angel went to this restaurant called uh some oak steakhouse or something. Yeah. And you go up there in the bathrooms, it's like it's not a, like a bathroom you go in with multiple stalls. You all have like separate yeah, home bathrooms. I was like, dang, this oh, is nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that. I went to, uh, there's a Eddie B's Steakhouse downtown. Steak they and have seafood. Them? Yeah, they have their own bathrooms. Oh, I'm not sink. even sure what y'all are talking the, about. The uh, Soho House ones are really nice. Yeah. Did I go hmm. with Soho House? Here we are talking about nice bathrooms. And then sometimes they got the, the mouthwash in there, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the bath the toilet seats that aren't like flat, like they have a ridge to them, like they're made for an ass. <laughs> you know what I, I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like, man, this thing feels comforting. Dude, if they're too tall, I'm like, my legs are going to go down before I even I get like a- this to sit here until my legs go down. <laughs> yeah, That's literally. Hard so oh, being five, four and three fourths. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is pro wrestling. I I didn't uh I didn't like pro wrestling as a kid because I wrestled, like I did like real wrestling. Oh yeah! Don't you dare say it's fake. I'll <laughs> come across this microphone. So I never watched pro wrestling. Was that a big part of your life though? Yeah. Like no, you, I like the NWO, into like the WCW before it was. I didn't get into that until okay. like afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know much about yeah, it. Yeah. All I knew was WWE. Yeah. Did you have siblings or anybody that you were like choke slamming on the sofa? I, I had a sister. Yeah, were you <laughs> choke slamming her on the sofa or what? I wasn't choke slamming. It was like more super kicking and pedigrees. <laughs> you think you could beat McElwain up? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. With the right move set. You can definitely <laughs> take him. Yeah, he, he, he. Do you like think if I done. put you in a wrestling ring today, right now, with Ed Sheeran, that you could beat him? <laughs> Ed Sheeran? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about Ed. Uh, he's so quiet. You don't know what he's capable of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he could use the shit out of one of those damn, what is it called? The loop pedal? Oh, yeah. yeah. Loop what if me. he hit you with a loop pedal? Dude? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You'd be fucked up. That's it. <laughs> um, who's your favorite wrestler? Right now it's a toss up because I like. You still watch it? Yeah, I still watch oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you know when they when they uh, when SummerSlam claimed came I was there. there. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw a friend uh, that's really Logan into Logan Paul it. came to that, didn't he? Yeah. Wasn't yep. he like a big part of that? Brian Kelly was up front, and uh, Kid Rock was there. Yep. Jesse Lynn, they made out. Yep. Did you see that? <laughs> it was on the big screen. Yeah. Up there. yeah. <laughs> Do you know PJ North? He's huge into wrestling. Oh yeah, I know PJ. PJ is huge into it. He always has like the wrestling parties. He got the coolest like shirt. Jelly Roll's big into it also. I didn't P- know that. Yeah, PJ's got yeah, the fit. At his like Bridgestone show, he had like the the announcer come and announce him. Oh yeah, yeah. the famous announcer. I don't know his name. Yeah. Bob Barker. Bob Maybe Barker. the dude with a really it. good voice. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Matt McElwain. Yeah. When I was, I'll tell you a funny story. When I was on, uh, when I did the Kid Rock tour, that was during. I guess it was weekend we had off. That yeah. the makeout session happened, <laughs> and I was like, I t- sent him a text before the show, and I was like. Uh, I was like, dude, I just saw that video of you and Chelsea Lynn. I was like, you looked like you weren't expecting that tongue kiss at all. <laughs> so every night I would come out after picture, he would be like, I'm ready for some country music. And I would come out of the door and he would go back there and drink water, take a breather or whatever. And I'd come out and sing. Well, when I came out of the double doors, he looked at me and went, yeah. All right. Um, we have we have a couple segments we're gonna do. I want to do mine first. Right. Um, so it's called a verse and a chorus. Okay. We're gonna hook you up to this turtle box right here on Bluetooth. All right. And you have to play the first verse and chorus off of an unreleased song on your phone. All right. Shout out to Turtle Box for hooking us up with these turtle boxes. 
It's called Outlaw. What's it about? Uh, being an outlaw. It says a little about a girl being an outlaw. Oh, nice. That's cool. Did you write it? Uh, I wrote it by myself. That's and I got, uh, 100 percenter. Almost. I got Dream Addicts produce it. Oh, nice. Because I can't produce. It's like I got to the point now where I know how to mess around with like splice yeah. and stuff and make a little demo. Yeah. Just to get my idea across. But you need the the super yeah. polished stuff for the world here. Yeah. So just play it whenever. Yep. Just play it. We'll do to do verse course. She don't chase her liquor, so why will she chase you? She's seeing red and dressed in black, but she'll leave you with the blues. Took a rain check on love, gave up and called it. badass appreciate it i like the i like how it's a from like a girl point of view it's different like i guess a guy point of view but it's about a girl being yeah. an outlaw. that's sick that's super different you usually hear you know the guy's an outlaw running away yeah and it's like um i got the idea from uh you remember holes yeah you remember kissing kate barlow yeah that's where oh, i got yeah. the idea from that's nice. awesome yeah what is your uh writing process like let's talk about that some <laughs> um my process is usually I got to find, I guess, a melody that mm -hmm. catches my ear. So usually, like, if I'm in a write with somebody, yeah, they just you know, do you write play with a lot of track guys. Yeah, you do. Do you play guitar? No. Cool. I suck at it. I got one, but I can't play it. Yeah, oh, it's same. <laughs> do you like? What do you? What do you do to like find inspiration? Do you just usually play the beat because like you're used to like doing the rap thing? Do you just like you hear a beat and you're like. Um, this is what I would say here or do you like watch movies and shit and think about hooks because sometimes I do that like I will like watch a movie and be like oh that's a cool idea yeah you know, or something like that I'll do that every now and then yeah but usually it's just me listening to the uh, listening to the, the melody of yeah. the track or whatever then coming up with a melody like, oh this feels like heartbreak song or this yeah. feels like you know this and then I'll look and try to lately I've been trying to like write down titles when I think of them and put them in my yeah. phone yeah, because I get in there with like some writers, and they'll just have a list full of uh, titles. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, I'm behind. But then sometimes I just, it just hit me on the spot. Yeah. yeah. So when you do solo writes like that, is it like you just sit down and knock it out, or do you come back to it a couple times before it's done? Uh, I'll mess around with it. If it hit me right then, I'll do it right then. Yeah. But usually yeah. it's just me coming back and forth to it. What about what about my favorite song, Cotton Mouth? Cotton Mouth. I had that idea for a long time. Yeah. And it's just because I hadn't heard no country song about a friend. Man, it may be one out there that I ain't heard. Yeah. But I ain't heard one. Of, I hadn't heard one about like a friend switching up on another friend. Yeah. And I went with. Uh, You're supposed to ride <laughs> with me. That's awesome. I, Damn, told, I need to listen to that. I, I, I Does it reference like I guess I could call and it. And live. Yeah. That, I, I saw. For those of you who don't know, I went to to Rashad show and and did a uh, I did a guest performance. First time we ever played the song together. Yeah. But that song live is where it's at. Appreciate it. Yeah. Dude, you got a great set, though, man. That's awesome. For those of you who haven't seen the show, you should totally go see it. It's great. I, I ain't even put the set list together. Angel did. Really? Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> so you're the angels. We should have Angel on here. We should have her right in the middle, right? <laughs> She's the real mastermind behind this. Told you to get on TikTok. Put your set list together. She's like your other manager, right? Yeah, before like I actually got one, that was my manager. Yeah, you know, my photographer, videographer. But it's you know it's nice to have somebody like like McElwain. Like he's been um, with me for how long now? Seven years, so nine years. It's like nine years, nine, nine ten, nine or ten years now. And like you know, he doesn't play drums for me anymore, but he works on the road crew and like. But he knows out of mostly everybody you know what i like and what i don't like and mm. you know so it's pretty cool and you know me and mitch have been friends forever but it's nice to have people like that around yeah you know i wish i could have my girlfriend with me all the time 
but yeah. you know i don't <laughs> especially being shy i feel like you know she knows what you like and don't like she can kind of you don't have to be the bad guy yeah. you know <laughs> like if someone says to do something she'd kind of be like yeah he's not gonna do that so yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take <laughs> back the fuck off <laughs> yeah. and, and you could just be the you're you know you're shy quite self like yeah have a good day <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah she's over there like he's not doing it <laughs> like, That's good. um so is, is angel you're like you know you're a critic like when you write a new song or something that you're like excited about like who 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 do you send that to who are your first like three people you write a badass song you're super excited who are you texting it to um angels first then i send it to my buddy ben and then i send it to my buddy Ant. yeah and angel, i send it to angel first well i don't even send it i just come downstairs and play it for her. yeah yeah and it's because uh <laughs> she don't like country music yeah cool so if she like it that's that's a good sign that's a good sign yeah yeah, yeah definitely i have a lot of people tell me all the time they're like man i don't fuck with country but i like your music do you get that a lot too yeah yeah what do you think your like your fan base is your demographic like are you getting more country fans or more like rap fans or like do, do you know or is it just kind of a, a big jumble of everything uh, I, th- I think it's a mix yeah I think it's a mix because it's like I'll see uh like you said I'll see the comments for people being like oh, yeah. I don't like country but I like yeah. this and then from some country fans they'll be like oh this is different yeah and so I, yeah I think it's a mix that's really cool um. All right. What is the go kart story? Yeah. What's that? What's that all about? <laughs> so, um, when I was little, my dad had uh, got me and my sister a red go kart, mm-hmm. and we used to. I remember one time, me and my cousin, uh, we we wrecked it. Yeah. She flipped it. I scratched my knees up. My cousin Marissa was in there. She scratched her knees up. Yeah. And Krista, she was untouched. And so one day, I came outside. Me and my dad, we was outside in the yard. And I saw my red go-kart go by, but another family was on it. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, and I called my daddy dead. I was like, dude, is that my go-kart? Dude, is that my go-kart? And then he finally told me he sold it. Dang. (laughs) Because you wrecked it or what? No, I I think we just needed the money. Oh, okay. (laughs) So you just had to watch it go by. Yeah, just, you know, another whole other family, another (laughs) dad and his son. That's like Mitch going uh, dirt bike shopping every every week. (laughs) Every year, dude, man. (laughs) I grew up uh, poor, and my stepdad would take me. I wanted a dirt bike so bad, dude. That's all I wanted as a kid. Every year for Christmas, what do you want? Dirt bike. Birthday, dirt bike. Like, that's all I want is a dirt bike. And uh, my stepdad would take me to like the Honda place mm. and like get me fitted for a dirt bike, like which size I needed and everything, dude. Every year he would uh, he would apply for it as an adult. Now I realize his credit didn't get approved. Mm. So like as, but as a kid, I didn't know what that fucking was. I just he was like, we got to go home. <laughs> And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I never got a fucking dirt bike in my life. <laughs> Damn. Ever, man. Fuck. I still want a dirt bike. I think I might go buy a dirt bike. That's how I was with Jordans. I've never had a, oh, I say this, I've never had a real pair of Jordans. Yeah. I remember I got some at the flea market for like 20 bucks. And I went to school and everybody was like, dang, Clint, I like them Jordans. Them some nice Jordans. Yeah. And then I thought they really liked them until I found out they was laughing at me because it was fake. Oh, damn. <laughs> and like, I was proud of them. I, like, I was so ready to wear them. I would <laughs> like that one. Really. Yeah. <laughs> like, Turn that camera on, on Angel, Michael. <laughs> like, I wasn't even matching them. Like, that's how excited yeah. I was to wear them. Like, light, light blue Jordans and like a red yeah. football jersey. Yeah, just to have the Jordans on. It's so funny because... Uh, me and Mitch, you know, we spent a lot of time together and we always just talk about our childhoods and how they were just kind of messed up, you know, yeah. and like look over there and you're laughing and like me and Mitch laugh about <laughs> our childhood being messed up. But it's like to us, it's funny to some people be like, what the hell is wrong with you? You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? But like, I don't know. Pretty yeah, we, funny. We did some weird shit. Pretty funny. I'm wearing fake shoes right now that we talk about. Yeah. These Travis Scott ones, I can't afford that shit. So I'm wearing a fake chain. <laughs> <laughs> so is Trey. Yeah, my shit's from Amazon, baby. I got a hole in my shirt, so. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll, 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 I saw, I'll lose I saw, that. Um, I, think it was, I, I watched YouTube reels a lot, and I saw, I think, like 50 Cent or some some rapper. I don't remember who it was. He, like, had this big chain on Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. He was like, my shit's fake. Yeah, he was talking about saving money. I think I'm pretty sure. No. I don't remember who it was, but he was like, my shit's fake. I don't need to buy, you know, a $60,000 chain to prove I have money. You know, like, I'll just 
Who was it that did Logic it? Didn't. Logic didn't. Logic didn't. He's like, I just went oh, to the it mall. Was, uh, it was uh, uh, Ocho Cinco. Yeah. It was Ocho oh. Cinco saying he wears fake shit because he was like, that. I got money and everybody knows it. I don't have to prove yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, I'll wear the cheap shit and y'all think it's real because I got money. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's wrong? Yeah, I love He's that. an idiot, dude. He said like, one point his diet that. was like McDonald's or some yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. I like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I'm beating athletes and my diet's McDonald's. He's wild. Um, you have new music coming out. Tell us about that. Uh, we're working towards an album. We don't know how many tracks yet. But uh, I think it's just a culmination of songs that we've been working on for the last three years. Yeah. Like I'm finally honing in on what I want my sound to be. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm just ready to put all this out. Well, we recently started working together and shooting some TikToks, and, and they've been getting a little bit of traction on there. Yeah. When Are you excited about that song? I mean, what have you seen, like, people using the sound, and what what's your your take on it? I'm ready to put that one out. It's Because uh, I feel like it's um the topic is so modern, like yeah. saying a girl, like, she for the streets. Yeah. But then taking it and having it produced like a traditional country song, like yeah. Steel and Fiddle, I just yeah. like that little bit of a clash. Yeah, I mean, it's a sick song. For yeah. sure. It's unreal. Um, hey, who'd you write that one with? Was that 100%? Yeah. Nice. Damn. But you, you say you signed a pub deal recently, correct? <laughs> you did? Not lately. Okay. I thought you signed a, some sort of deal. I saw I thought saw it was announced. Uh, I was at Empire. Empire, yeah. Yeah, but cool. not no more. Not anymore? Mm. So how did you meet uh, Jamie and Johnny over at Penthouse? I met Johnny. Eric? Eric. Oh yeah, Eric put us like, right? yeah, yeah. Eric, yeah, Eric gave me, Eric gave me Johnny's number, and then Johnny called me, and then we met him in uh, we met him in Nashville. We went to that restaurant, Jamaica Way. No, uh, what's that? It's, it's like a Jamaican Jamaica restaurant. That yeah, sounds good. It. It sounds good. They got jerk chicken, huh? Jerk chicken, curry <laughs> chicken. Fire, dude. Yeah, we went over there. Been working there since. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. They're uh, I just met Johnny like two days ago. Um, I've known Jamie now for a little while. And uh, the, I just love that they're like real people. Yeah. Like my favorite people in this industry are the ones that treat you like a human and not a transaction. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people are like very transactional and I fucking hate that. But uh, those two people have been, I mean, they've always just talked to me like a human. They're, they've, you know, listened and like heard me while talking to me. And that's really cool. So has it been awesome working with them? Yeah. It's like when I first started working with him, he could have easily like started trying to, shot me out to like major labels yeah but when i told him that wasn't what i wanted yet he was cool with it that's Let awesome work awesome. at my own pace put out what i want when i want yeah and just yeah, build it. it yep yeah build it get that undeniable deal yeah but you did move to nashville correct yeah murfreesboro yeah you i lived in murfreesboro for five years can't go back <laughs> <laughs> you liking it or are you missing the uh what's it called the gas station uh, the oh, willa coochie or yeah, Sam, 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 sambo sambo you missing the being the going to the sambo i do miss it i do miss it like yeah. but i like murfreesboro yeah. what's your favorite murfreesboro restaurant and is it koji express koji i like koji koji like solid koji. and uh it's that uh mexican restaurant uh, Camino. Camino's good. I Which like one? Camino. Uh, we used to go to the one that was like across from like a the Taco Bell. I'd be tearing it up, especially like a Hawaiian burrito with the pineapples on it. Mm. <laughs> How do you find like, um, well, like, so before I worked with you, I looked at all your videos and like, you were so hype and like, <clears throat> and energetic and you didn't seem shy at all. And, but Trey told me like, you know, he's shy. He's a really nice guy, but he's shy. He's a shy guy, but when you turn that camera on, it's go time. Yeah, dude. And as soon as I started, like, turn the camera on, you, like, flipped a switch. <laughs> and you were, like, go mode. It was almost like, like, you know, it was game time or something. Like, how do you do that? Is that ever hard for you? Is it natural? Is it something you have to think about? Like, does your anxiety just, like, go out the window as soon as as soon as it's go time? Like, what is your process there or your thoughts? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just start working on it. Like, it's like what, uh, like wrestling. Yeah. In wrestling, they have to be like certain characters. Yeah. So I feel yeah. like I have to do that as Rashad. Yeah. Like, I don't become Rashad until I take the glasses yeah. off. And I still got anxiety. Like, when I'm on stage yeah. and I don't wear my glasses, I don't wear them. And like, 
I think it was Jamie was like, oh, why don't you get contacts? I'm like, I don't want contacts because I don't want to see. <laughs> so you if just I can can't see the see. Cr- like right now, everything is blurry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that way. No anxiety if I can't up. see you. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't see you, you can't see me. I love that. That's so great. instead of seeing the crowd in their underwear, you just can't see the crowd. Because <laughs> nope. I don't want to lock in on that one guy. You on stage and you lock in on that one guy and he's just sitting there like this. Yeah. And I was like, damn, I guess he's just not enjoying the show. Yeah. Like, damn, did you see that guy on the front row? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen shit. Until I got LASIK, I couldn't even see to have sex. I went, oh, Pope, hopefully it's going well. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more of a feel thing. Uh, well, you know, it wasn't going, I don't think it was going well, but I tried. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. Dude, that's great. If you had to make a... Uh, if you were like a wrestler, what would your name be? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you weren't doing music and you had to be a wrestler, what would your character get up to be? Um, I never really thought about it. I have. You want me to tell you mine? <laughs> What's yours? So mine would be. I would be the. My name would be the stepdaddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I would wear um like bleach jeans, you know, like Tim's, and then I would just have like a ton of chest hair and like a like a dark spray tan. Like almost like Beryl, you know, shirt, <laughs> like gold, thick gold chains, like down to here. And my, my punchline would be, "Yes, I am your real dad." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I never wanted to be a wrestler. I just wanted the theme song, and the, I wanted to wear the belt. That yeah, was, was the theme song. Hey, have you checked out that belt back there? I was looking at it when I came in. See if it's you can pull it off of there. there. It's, it's hard. Can you pull it off of there, McElwain? Does it? Does yeah, it come it's off? not. It's barely on there. It's just on there yeah. with screws, really. If you ever wondered, it's not screwed in. Just you can just pull it. It's kind of wedged in there. there Check it out. It's heavy. heavy. Dang, that is heavy. Yeah, it's like a real one. Wait, so what's your walkout song? I ain't never heard a real one. My walkout song would be uh. L- Lil Wayne song Steady Mobbing Nice, nice. I've Hell thought about yeah. that one For years <laughs> <laughs> Hey it's hard It's hard yeah It's pretty cool isn't it Yeah dude yeah. When they brought it to us We were all like whoa Yeah he said it was like A real it's belt real, I, I think it's real alligator skin Yeah Dang that's Ryan hard Ryan Nelson's cousin Got it for I'm free wear it for the rest of the interview. Yeah. That's cool Yeah <laughs> That's cool it doesn't fit around me. I'm too yeah. fat I tried to put it on You beat Trey Lewis's ass That's how you got <laughs> That's how you got the belt People chant What else we got here we got your segment where we can do the three songs. Oh, the three songs. Yep. Let me connect. This is a. Uh, you got a Bluetooth off for Sean. Uh, this is where you guess guess the song. I'm going to play like just a little snippet. That's all you get. We'll start easy. That's all you get. You want to go again? Uh, was that truck? Yep. Yep. By Hardy. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty easy. All right, this one might be kind of hard. Did Morgan Wallen stand out? Dang, he got <laughs> it. I don't All know. Right. All right, one more. I mean, that's like old school Morgan. Yeah, you know? that was before the mullet. But that song slaps, dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he said before the mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that time marches on? That uh, is. All right, last one. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking by you. Yeah, that, that 2019, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, that wasn't, that was, so was that music uh, t- TikTok time or was that before TikTok? That was before TikTok. Yeah. You do that in Georgia? Yeah, but I did that whole, I did that like whole EP in maybe two weeks yeah and i guess it was because it was it was so fresh yeah and it was also the fact i didn't know nothing about songwriting yeah so i was just in there writing and singing what i wanted to yeah and it's like now i feel like because now i feel like it's a certain way you have to write songs Mm -hmm. i feel like that stiffled me a little stifled me a little bit yeah yeah right back then i was hungry yeah (laughs) just letting letting it go baby yeah (laughs) if there's anything that you could kind of go back and tell um you know, younger Rashad that was using his headphones for the TV and one for the <laughs> ear. Like, what would you go back and tell yourself about this music journey? Like, you just wish you could know back then. Like, any advice you would tell that younger Rashad? Mm, I would tell him it's more than the music. What do you mean? Well, you know, it's like business and it's like promotion. I thought yeah. you just put out music. Back then, I thought you just put out a song and yeah. you're famous. All yeah. you do is do songs. 
Yeah, it's a lot more. The oh, marketing yeah. is a lot. Yeah, marketing. That's pretty much all I would what tell. Are your, what do you? What does your uh, family think about what you're doing now? My daddy ain't happy now. Yeah, yeah, because like, <laughs> now you made doing, some money. <laughs> <laughs> that's because I'm doing country music. Yeah. Oh, uh, like when I was rapping, they told me it was cool with me rapping, but they didn't want me cursing and stuff. Yeah. And then I finally like started doing country music and. He was proud. Yeah. What does he think about Dick Down Dallas? Never heard it. Never, Never heard, heard it. it. Yeah. Never heard it. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. what does he think? <laughs> yeah, no cussing, but let's my, get on uh, this one. <laughs> my, I was uh, raised by my grandparents, and my grandma told me when I moved to Nashville for music that I was an idiot, <laughs> and I need to get a real job, and I need to grow up. And uh, so I didn't listen to her, of course. And then Dick Down in Dallas went number one, all genre. And I called her and I was like, hey, I just wanted you to know my roommate just went number one all genre um, with my help. And she was like, dang, that's that's pretty impressive. And I was like, yeah, that's number one over any artist you can think of right now, Grandma. <laughs> and like, she was like, dang, that's cool. And then she was like, well, what's the song? I'll look it up. And I was like, oh, yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't got to do all that. Yeah. And yeah. then my cousin showed, her, showed it to her two weeks later. And she called me and she was like, that song is super good. Tell Trey, <laughs> congratulations. And I was like, what song? <laughs> I was like, I don't know if you heard the right song, Grandma. <laughs> like my daddy was in the bank and uh, one of the tellers was like, yeah, I heard your son's new song. And he was like, oh, which one? And she was like, well, I can't say it in here. And so afterwards, he asked my sister, he's like, what song are you talking about? What song, what song was she talking yeah. about? And my sister was like, oh, I don't know. Cause like she was trying to keep <laughs> yeah, from trying, too. Yeah, trying to, trying to. Yeah, that's nice. He but still hadn't heard it today. Still, ain't, well, I, when I did the uh, terminal show on tour, I performed it there. Oh, uh -huh. and my mama, she was down there singing it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, she's been knowing it. Yeah, that's awesome. And then Angel's family loves it. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. Great. <laughs> that's great. My my grandfather, you know, he's. I'm just I, my, my thing with my grandfather is like if there's anybody that's going to heaven, you know, it's him. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't, then nobody's going, you know. <laughs> and, um, you know, I mean, when that song first started popping off, I called him. I was like, look, Pappy, I know this song's kind of, you know, kind of out there and, and, you know, cusses a lot in the subject manners, you know. I said, but it is going to change my life, you know, and I know you're probably not that proud of it. And he said, well, I just love you and, you know, I'm happy for you, you know, and uh, maybe it'll open an opportunity for people to hear other music and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But my mom has to go over there. She takes care of him. Was over there one day, and she and they bought him this new Bluetooth speaker for Christmas. Mm. And um, you know how like on the iPhone, how it used to like come with like two songs or something. It was like U two or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, she he and then she saw where he had he went to iTunes and bought Dick Down and Dallas. <laughs> And she, he was like, yeah, I don't know how that got on there. <laughs> but I don't know. I just think it's cool how, like, uh, our family support us, you know, even if they don't agree with us sometimes, you know. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So are you full country now? Are you ever gonna, you done with rap? Oh, yeah, I've been done with rap. So like, never again? Uh, I don't know about never again. can never say never. I'll still rap on songs, like, every now and then. I don't yeah. put them out, but I just do like TikToks, yeah. 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 I don't even do TikToks. No, you just no. do it for yourself? Yep. Damn. We need them on TikTok. You guys <laughs> drop a comment. Let's get Rashad to yeah, do a rap what, on TikTok. What if you like, just like blow up? You know what I mean? Like Morgan Wallen <laughs> does some rap stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's what we're kind of influenced by growing up and what we did. You know, it's like yeah. when you had a burnt CD, you know, you had Tupac on your thing and then the next thing, Hank Jr. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or like whatever. I had Tupac and Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> not near as good. Cool. And then Leonard Skinner. You know what I mean? It's like you just had that one CD. Where you, listen to you didn't listen to Leonard Skinner? No. Did you? Not really. No. I would do like, yeah, Tupac, a Taylor songs. Swift, and then like, like Mike Simple Jones. Man. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh oh no. So I know the songs now, but I didn't. Do yeah, that. you didn't know. Them. Mine was Jason Aldean and Ti. Yeah, burning it down, baby. Ti was good. Rubber band man. Oh yeah. <laughs> In twenty four. What did it say? Wild as a Taliban or something? Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't Dude, say looking that. Looking back, that was an awful lyric. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> Holy shit! I used to scream that, dude. I didn't know what a Taliban was. <laughs> Uh, oh shit dude um this has been fun man it's been great it's um, been dope. 
Well, so when do you know when your project's dropping? Or uh, we don't have a date. Don't right have now. a date right now. No. Well, oh, I want to talk about uh, how you did the Rashad thing, the upside down A's. How did you? Yeah, how did you come up with that? Um, uh, Andrew came up with it. Andrew, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was gonna do I was gonna do Rashad like regular yeah. spelling. But I was gonna make the S a dollar sign. Yeah. And she told me not. She was like, nah, don't do that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I ain't doing that. Yeah. Does your auto correct in your phone now get it right? Yeah. My phone does. Every time I talk. Yeah, once I add you to my contacts, it, it figured it out. Like anytime I put R V, it's Rashad. I'm like, you know it. Did you ever go by Clint on anything? For a little while, I almost did. Yeah. Cause I felt like a lot of you country got like artists. Four first names, right? No, it's just, what do you mean? Well, I, <laughs> when, when we were doing, like, when we were, I was talking to you, um, when I was talking to Johnny, he was like, he would call you Clint sometimes, and then sometimes he'd call you CJ, and then sometimes he'd call you Rashad. Rashad. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dang. It's what's, your, what's your name? What's your government name? Uh, Clint Johnson. Clint Johnson. And I was going to switch it to that, because, like, Clint Johnson just sounded like a country artist. Yeah. yeah. It's like Cody Johnson. Yeah. But Clint. Or Clint Black. Yeah, Clint Black. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the real Clint Black. <laughs> I'm the Black Clint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That should have been your name. That's a missed opportunity there. Yeah, the Black Clint. They call me the, like, sometimes in my comments, they'll be like, oh, uh, he sounds just like Jason Aldean. He sounds like Jason Aldean. And then somebody commented and was like, oh, he kind of looks like him, too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's good. You should do, uh, if you ever do want to rap again, you should just go under a, a pseudonym. The Black Clint. The Black Clint. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> That's Hell funny. Yeah. So we, well, there's not a release date on For the Streets? Uh, it drops Friday. Friday. Nice. This Friday. So it'll be out when this podcast comes out. It'll already yeah. be out. It'll already be out. So y'all go stream it. Yeah. Um, y'all be sure to go uh, check out, follow Rashad on Spotify. That helps us all, all artists out. If you follow us on Spotify, um, not just listen to our music. That way you stay updated on what's going on. Um, obviously, follow them on all social medias, which is just Rashad, right? Uh, it's, it's Rashad. It's Rashad, yeah. Be sure y'all follow him. Um, check out his whole catalog. He's got a lot of great music, um, you know, music to listen to on your boat. I feel like if, you know, I think Luke Combs said it on a, on a, uh, Joe team. Rogan he was yeah. like if somebody listens to their, your music on the boat then you've made it <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> yeah um, that's like the best compliment but um, yeah y'all go check out his music and uh, hopefully we'll we'll be able to collab on something again oh, that sure. was fun dude yeah you know? I'm ready to do it I feel like the remix like brought us like, brought me like a whole different demographic of fans cause like the people that love the remix like don't even fuck with the other version. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're for like, sure. They're like, why didn't you like it's uh, one or the other There's dude. a guy named Wild Greg. He Wild owns Greg. he owns uh Wild Greg's venues. He is like one yeah. in Pensacola. But he always wants me to do the remix every show. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like he sent me a video of him and Kid G like partying after I guess Kid did a show there hmm. and Kid G was singing the remix into like the karaoke mic at the bar. <laughs> as soon as Trey gets off stage, he plays the remix over the speakers. Yeah, and sings it. Yeah, but and he can't sing. sings it through his mic. Yeah. He can't sing at all. That's dope. Mm. Because he, he likes that version better. He was in Key West and he sang karaoke karaoke it like two times a night every 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 night for like four days. <laughs> uh, who, Wild Greg did? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> so you definitely have to play a show at Wild Greg's. Yeah. Yeah. Get down there to one of his venues. I'm if you've listened this long, I want everybody in here to go comment on Rashad's last TikTok and put Black Clint. Hashtag Black Clint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but TikTok gonna take the video down. <laughs> like, okay, no, nah, this is too far. This is too far. <laughs> no, oh, good. I was gonna ask you. Um, I think it was a while back. You posted a video and somebody commented. It was like, uh, like every time I see your face, I think about. Dick down in Dallas. Yeah. And you were like, that's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's unfortunate. You know, I got a lot of good music out there, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's cool. I'm, and I'm glad people like that song, but sometimes I'm just like, damn, check out my other shit too. You know what I mean? I feel it's the same way with me with Baller. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's like, oh, my favorite song is Ballin'. Oh, yeah. well, one guy was like, yeah, he just disappeared after balling. I was like, no, no I didn't. <laughs> I started doing that shit in public, too. I was at the, the charity cornhole tournament yesterday with Craig Campbell. And somebody came to me and was like, man, I love your song, Dick Down Dallas. I was like, dude, thanks. That was three years ago. I put out some other music since then. You should go check it <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. I got other stuff, too. They just don't know yet. You know what I mean? It's all right. Yeah. They, I, I think that, like, this thing, man, you got to build it one fan at a time. You know? Yeah. And I mean, even, you know, even with a song like as big as Dick Down Dallas was, that's great and everything. But like, you know, I'm just glad that, you know, I have an opportunity with a song like that to grow fans, you know, and and uh, but I think that, the you know, the managers and the, the team and all that stuff is very important. But the, you know, the only way this thing goes is with fans, you know, and people that consume our music. So. I always just try to make music that I like and and make music that I think they'll like too. You know what I mean? Something they can relate to. I feel that. You know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes sometimes it's okay that I might have fans that are only Dick Down Dallas fans, but that's all right too. You know what I mean? Because I, I, pa- I still get paid. I still get paid. But uh, anyways, man, thanks for coming on the podcast. And, uh, yeah, we need to hang out more. Let's do it. And, um yeah, y'all be sure to go check out Rashad. Thank y'all for watching episode 39 of the DM Monday podcast. We out this bitch. Like a missing piece, we just fit like your hand in mine does too. It was always you I was looking for, baby. Even though.